I'm gonna look at a few questions and I'm gonna talk talk to y'all. Who got the best video? I'll answer that question. Uh, what have I seen so far? I've seen almost everything so far. Who got the best joint so far? Damn, that's hard to say. Ill Will's footage is crazy. Um, I don't want to talk about certain people because I think y'all got certain expectations. Like, you see 40 Cal on the car, y'all know he might do some wild shit. So I don't want to talk about somebody like him yet. Uh, Sharon did something a little bit different. Um, Hollow. Hollow got good shit. Hollow's taking shots at, pe at people other than Mac Myron, too, in his battle. Um... Street Hems did it again with some sick shit. Do y'all know who Street Hems is battling? Do y'all see the flyer? Do y'all see what the Street Hems flyer says? Or what the flyer says next to his name? Y'all see that? Ice said the boss. Ice got great footage again, too. Ice got great footage again. Ice is in, I think, two or three different locations. Not two different locations. Ice is in. Um, appreciate that hot sauce. Alright, let's talk about it because some of the things I want to say here, I want to just make sure that we clear on what's going on. And I'll probably rip this, this IG live right here and put it on the channel for everybody. So yeah, Social Distance 2 just dropped, y'all. Um, and like it says, man, it's, it's 21 fucking battles. 21 battles. Um, I'm seeing a few questions. Is this on pay-per-view? Is this on VOD? Let's make that clear for y'all. It is the same way it was on Social Distance Part 1, which is free. Okay? It'll be free to the RBE YouTube channel for y'all once again. All 21 of these videos will be for free for y'all. Um, is there any catches or anything like that? Absolutely fucking not. All right? I'm seeing also, when is the car going to start? It's going to start tomorrow. Okay, so if you're watching this live right now, or if you're watching this live uploaded to the channel and it's still Sunday, Monday, Memorial Day, we will be dropping the first battle off of Social Distance 2. It's going to premiere on the channel, all right? And the reason why we're going to premiere is because it's got a bunch of little things going on that you haven't seen yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some people that you that you haven't seen in the trail yet, trailer yet that's going to be in... Tomorrow's video that premieres along with the battle and all types of stuff going on. So it'll make more sense tomorrow. Trust me. We having a lot of fun with it. But um, judging wise. Okay. I saw some of those questions and I like to make sure that we clear this shit up. Not just for the bloggers or the fans or the culture, but for the fucking battle rappers. I, I don't want no miscommunications or nobody thinking that they money getting played with or nothing like that. On social distance part one. They were only one rounders, once again, shorter one rounders, but the card was amazing, like y'all saw. We got a lot of good feedback for part one. People loved the card. A lot of publications posted the card. Uh, a lot of celebrities talked about the card, all types of shit. We saw that, the tweets and everything. But um, we also supplemented the card because we didn't do pay-per-view or VOD with the GoFundMe. That was a way for RBE to put more money in the battler's hands, even though obviously you can't pay a battle of what he would normally make if RBE is not putting on a VOD or a pay-per-view or selling door tickets, right? So, obviously, you're not going to make what you would normally make. Or for certain people, may not make that much money, period. But it's an opportunity to be a part of history. It's an opportunity to stay busy. It's an opportunity to promote, have your face seen. It's an opportunity to be on RBE. It's an opportunity to go back and forth and exchange bars with an opponent. It's an opportunity to possibly set up a, fut a future match. There's a lot of things that come out of cards like this, even though we're giving them away for free. You know, they could still spin into big things. Like we saw controversy on the first card. We saw um, people getting into all types of arguments over, you know, what happened with this person's footage, time limit or whatever. So they turn into big deals. You know, the RBE channel is nothing to sneeze at. It's one of the biggest channels in the battle rap culture. We've passed like a quarter million subscribers finally. Thank you to all of y'all for that. So, um... This card is obviously 10 times bigger than part one. Um, there are GOATs. There are certified Mount Rushmore people on this card. Okay? 
no matter whether you got a set four or whether you jug your Mount Rushmore juggles between the same six or seven people, you probably got like three or four Mount Rushmore people on this card. You see Hollow already. You see Disaster already. These are people that you can easily argue on the Mount Rushmore any day of the week. And you see on the flyer, it also says a Mount Rushmore versus Street Hymns. That's the first topic I want to talk about. This is one thing that I'm proud about when it comes to being this. Rare breed entertainment and when it comes to being a rare breed in real fucking life. That's, that's one thing that I'm proud about with this situation, this moment right here. Street Hymns doesn't even know who his opponent is yet. Yet he's at the top of the flyer. Versus a Mount Rushmore. He didn't even know that he was getting a Mount Rushmore. Whether you think that's Lux or Arsenal or Iron Solomon, whoever. Street Hems doesn't know. He, he might drop tomorrow. When we premiere the first social distance battle tomorrow, it might be the Street Hems battle. He doesn't even know who he has. I'll let y'all take five seconds to guess why before I give y'all the answer. Don't worry, all the questions, we're going to get to the questions later. I see shoddy, horror, shoddy fucking horrors debuting on RBE, but we'll get back to that later. Um, shoddy horrors, ill will, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but uh, Ness vs. Scotty, Rex, yeah, we'll talk about all of that. All right, I gave y'all enough time. Social Distance Part 1 was touted as the most creative visual card ever in battle rap. And I think now that that card is in the history books, it's a first of its kind. Of course, the ideas and the approach for it have come about because of this global pandemic, corona and all that type of shit. Most of us in the house practicing social distance, trying to stay safe. But we took it to the next level and said, we're going to push that card down the road of visual based. You know, we've seen these battlers rap a million times, and I'm, I'm always hyped to see some of my favorites get on camera and give us bars. I'm a fan like everybody else. But no shots, no shitting on anybody, um, or any situation, or any battle, or any back and forth. But I just feel like in the space of, of this social distance corona thing, these the IG type of things, or like just the live things that we see... You know, they don't have enough effort towards making them look good. You know what I mean? It's really just bars that we're getting. That, and that's working out sometimes. And sometimes we're getting classic shit. The social distance card gave the battlers an opportunity to control their visuals. And we pushed that effort. There's a reason why even I was in the intro. It was to say, basically, if I could do it, then anybody could do it. You see me on a bike. You see me in the attic. All types of shit. You know what I'm saying? You see me. Look what Street Hymns did on part, on part one. And that leads me to now answering the question. So because we pushed that type of effort on part one, Street Hymns was the first person to drop. And the first footage that we got submitted for that card to really take it to that level of that type of visual creativity. Okay, I think the first battle that we dropped was Ill Will versus T-Rex. Um, Rex, he had the, the visual outside of the P's. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people remember the caution tape and everything. Uh, Ill Will, his camera work was ridiculous. It was fucking ridiculous on the like the deserted, beat down, ran down background basketball court. Um, the second video that we released, uh, shit, I forget who it was at this point. But anyway, I think the third battle that we dropped was Street Hems versus Sharon. And you saw Street Hems, he did like a skit. He was like acting and shit. He acted like somebody was trying to be a salesman at his door and rang his doorbell. He goes downstairs and there's Sharon with a mask on and shit. He's rapping to a fake Sharon in his doorway. We had so much appreciation for that because when, when RBE has a vision for something, when we have a theme for something, when we have a starting five event, when we have a validation card and there's a theme to it, when we have a blood, sweat, and tears concept, it's a theme to it. When we have a, um, a closure card, when we have a ladies and gents card, when we have these themes and we have these ideas and we get creative and we have these, these risks that we take, 
the battle is bring it full circle. RBE is, is definitely a strong major en engine with some smart, hardworking people behind it. But the battle is bring that shit full circle. The same way the battle could be the highlight, the battle could always also be the weakest link. That's just keeping it 100. Same, same thing with the league. When Street Hymns submitted that footage and took our concept to really show the fans what we was doing, and he was the first, we knew that when it came time for part two, that man had to have a plate. And we made sure that when we had the opportunity to not only give him a plate, that it was a plate plate. Nobody would have expected Street Hymns to be the main event or the co-main event or one of the top battles on our next card. He didn't even know this. Like I said, he still doesn't even know who he's battling. Didn't know that he had a, a Mount Rushmore until we dropped the trailer today. That's RBE shit right there. This is where QB gets her arsenal battle. Finally. This is where Math gets his hollow battle. This is where Bill Collector, after years, gets his Hitman battle. This is where Verb gets Mook. This is where Oops gets O Red or Daylight or Jims gets A Verb. This is where J Murder gets Daylight. This is where Loso gets Daylight. This is this is where Heavy Half gets Math Hoffa right off of a Hollow to Dom battle. This this is do I, I could keep it going. This is where we do shit like that and and humility is baked into our fucking personality and it's baked into our platform. We create crap we create classics when we get that type of shit back from our fans, our bloggers, our supporters and the battle rappers. We create classic shit. And moments for people. And moments for the fans. And moments for the culture. So maybe that drops tomorrow. And we find out who Street Hems has. Because he damn sure don't even fucking know. He's going to find out with the rest of the world. <laughs> Ain't that a storyline for you. So thank you once again for Street Hems. For um, your dedication to your craft and your art. And taking it to the next level on Social Distance 1. And you had no clue. That... Putting that type of respect and effort towards RBE was going to get you what you just got on part two. So I salute you and I appreciate you. And I think that you're going to be very pleased <laughs> with what you end up with during this history right here. All right. Now let's expand on the word history. When I say history, I think this is history because not only is it one of the biggest collectives of battlers ever on the same card. Some of these people don't even fucking... Rock with each other or, or talk to each other and shit. Goats at, on the same card at the same, all types. I mean, I'm not saying that this is the only time we've seen a lot of mega names on one card, but it's one of the biggest collectors ever. It, that's why we were quiet for the last couple of weeks because we were still working on such a big card. You're talking over 40 battlers in one situation. And the reason why we look at this like history for us is because. This coronavirus is it's going to be something that's marked in history that we got to look back on. So we're seeing things in the hip hop world that's happening like the versus shit where we're going to see a RZA versus DJ Premier, where we're going to see a Bounty versus versus a uh, versus Beanie Man, where we see a um a Teddy versus Babyface and all this types of shit, Nelly versus Luda. This is all history that's happening. Like all these different areas of hip hop or our culture are doing things differently or doing things new that we never thought would happen during coronavirus. People are going to remember during coronavirus, what do, they, what do they, these different companies or, or people or leagues or artists, what did, what did they do? And when you look back at it, and if you just focus on battle rap, it's impossible now to look at the global pandemic of the coronavirus and not see like, wow, RBE put together some wild shit. And not only did they put together some wild shit for the fans and for the culture, but they did it for free. You know what I'm saying? No matter how hard or easy it is behind the scenes to put this many motherfuckers together on one card and, and coordinate all of this and hustle all this and pay for all it or whatever. I don't give a fuck how much somebody got paid. It's still money out of my fucking pocket. 
Because you want to know what? The only flip that comes back to RBE is what? Maybe some YouTube money. You know how many views you got to have just to make like $300 or $400 on YouTube? You got to damn near make a 200,000 view video. I don't think a single video from Social Distance Part 1 cracked two, crack 200,000 views. It's probably like Ill Will versus Rex. That's probably like 150. You know what I'm saying? So you just do the math. Like let's say hypothetically Rex and Ill Will both got uh, $100 or $200 for that battle. That means that for that one battle, might have might have cracked even or might have even lost some money. RBE. But we still pay for this whole fucking car, all 40 of these motherfuckers. And we didn't try to VOD it or nothing like that. That was never an idea. This is, this is a history of RBE's legacy. Some of the things that we have done, some of the ways that we've impacted the culture, some of the themes and the differences that we've, that we've done. So that's why I'm real proud of this, this card right here. And um, y'all still don't even know the complete card yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, there's also a bunch of people that, you know, couldn't make the card. You'd be surprised. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go through that with every card. Scheduling conflicts. People have issues that popped up. Um... There's people that we offered plates to. Um, they either, you know, didn't rock with the opponent or the timing didn't work out. You know, we'd be all over the place. But what we ended up with, I think, is epic during this corona shit. It's epic. 21 fucking free videos for you guys. I'm going to try to remember the 21 off of my head. Um, so you got a Mount Rushmore, somebody that you would argue on the Mount Rushmore um, versus Street Hems. We just gave that story. You got a uh, disaster versus 40 cal. This is disaster's first time on the RBE channel. Big salute and shout out to disaster for debuting on RBE. I don't give a fuck. Social distance or on stage. This is a fucking debut to me, man. We got a quarter million subscribers. Disaster's name is about to touch our channel. You know, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. Um, man's a goat. He's a legend. Uh, Hollow Don. Versus Mac Myron, <laughs> a goat puncher and one of the fan favorite punches of all time. Shadi Hara versus Ill Will. Shadi Hara is debuting on our channel. First time RBE fans will get to see him in a RBE type of matchup or situation or card. Shout out to Shadi. Been a fan of that guy forever. He's debuting with Ill Will. Uh, what the fuck else we got? Uh, you got a Math Hoffa send shots. You got three send shots on there. You got Math Hoffa. I can guess some people he might send shots at. I can guess at least two people that he might send some shots at. Because I'm a fan like everybody else. <laughs> I can guess. You got a Head Ice send shots. Head Ice is for the most part going at one person. And it's for a reason that maybe we'll talk about a little bit later on. But you know, sometimes like I said, scheduling happens, whatever. It's all good. But Ice handle his business and is about to drop some shit for y'all. And that's the same thing with Carter Deems. Shout out to Carter Deems. Carter Deems hit me up on social media on Twitter. I think it was Twitter or it was IG? Twitter. And it was like, he's seen Social Distance Part 1. And he was like, yo, this shit is amazing. I need in. You know I'm saying I haven't spoken to Carter Deem since 2014 when I was in Cali at Bola. I got him on camera and, and recap footage and everything. We was chopping it up outside. Maybe he don't even remember this. You know what I'm saying? But you know, fast forward for him to reach out and want to be a part of Social Distance. Shout out to Carter Deems, man. Appreciate you. Um, so those are the three people that got sent shots. Um, what else is on there? You got RBE's first rematch ever. And it's one of the only rematches that I've ever really wanted to see. I'm, I'm real like this when it comes to rematches. Um, Swave 7 versus O Red. And uh, that battle right there, you know, a lot of people already have a winner to that battle. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to talk too political. Fuck it, because they're about to go back and forth right now, so I don't got to be political. But um, I think people know that. Swave has remained consistent. He's remained that guy that you stand in front of him, you're going to look different. Everybody. This is not the same old red, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not the same old red. Old red 
you know, he has classic performances on the RBE channel already. We know what he's done over his over his career. And to hear what these two guys might say to each other, fast forward all these years later after that. Remember niggas screaming in the, in the crowd and shit, it's the Spurs, nigga. Shout out to Team Homie. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So this is the first rematch that we've ever cared to to touch. I'm not really big on rematches, but for a social distance battle and for the culture to see these guys real quick and on such a big collective moment like this, we said, fuck it, why not? Let's do it. Let's have some fun. So shout out to Swave and O'Red. Um, Chef Trez has three of them things. Of course, it was done on purpose. Um, so shout out to RBE for the creativity, three of them things, and shout out to Chef Trez for his talent and his work ethic. You know what I'm saying? You know, his first battle over here was a main event versus Ill Will. He went crazy. Then he just gave us uh, one of the best battles of all time with Sharon. Not just on RBE, but one of the best battles in the battle rap culture of all time. So with him doing that for us, you know, one, it's similar to the Street Hymns thing. It's us. You fuck with us, we fuck with you. That's that's how we all ask around behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to get along with everybody. Nobody on my side is going to get along with everybody because we are who we are. We stand on shit. But when you carry yourself a certain way, ask around how we move in return. You know what I'm saying? Chef Trez, real talented guy, holds us down. He stands for something. Yo, man, how about do three? How about three? And shout out to all his opponents. Clean paper. Um, blue cocaine, and his third opponent is uh, money bags. We bought money bags back. Yo, this card is stupid. <laughs> we bought money bags back. We found money bags, man. Team Hami, what up? We found money bags. He's back. Oh uh, man, I feel like I only said like eight battles, and there's like twenty one. The fuck else is on there? Oh shit, you got Jay Mills versus Big K. J Mills versus Big K. Shout out to J Mills, man, making it back to RBE. We did the Shine battle. He came back to RBE. Big moment in battle rap history. You know what I'm saying? We made we made a movie that that day. And then uh, he came back again to put some closure on the scene with his Enes history. That shit that came from making it a band. We brought closure to that shit. That was a crazy card, man. That was a crazy concept. Closure. Um, those are hard to do, man. Whole card full of storylines. But, um, J Mills is back. I already seen his footage. I seen Big K's footage too. Um, oh, here's something else about Big K versus J Mills. Big K versus J Mills is the only card that we, add, I mean, the only battle on the card. We asked them to do a face off, social distance, non person. We asked them both. Send us a video of like a face-off of you going at your opponent, not the rap part. So when you guys see the drop of J Mills versus Big K, before the battle comes on, you're going to see face-off shit. Like them talking they shit before they rap. Why the fuck not? I haven't seen that done yet during this corona shit. If it has been done, salute to you. I haven't seen it done yet. We just said, yo, let's try that out. Fuck it. Why? Because Big K is hilarious. And he's fucking like a goat of trash talking. And Jay Mills, I think the Jay Mills and E Ness face off is one of the best and most entertaining face offs ever. We all know what type of shit. If you know Jay Mills, have a conversation with Jay Mills. Get on the phone with Jay Mills. This is a Harlem nigga times a thousand. He talks like Dame Dash on steroids. <laughs> so when we see these two guys matched up, we say, yo. Let's do an extra video of Face Off with them. Y'all got some shit on this fucking car. <laughs> oh, they don't do what we do. We are so creative and so innovative and so wild with our shit, man. And we just be chilling, man. We really was taking a break again, but break's over. And we said, fuck it, let's go. Uh, what else? What am I missing? Oh, you got um Sharon versus Quantum Physics. Had to bring quantum physics. Quantum physics footage? Yo. Quantum physics is doing like some acting shit. Some, he's got, he's got uh, uh, other people in his shit acting out his round with him. Quantum physics. Remember I told y'all this. <laughs> These are not some fucking just cut on a camera and go live and rap shits that we about to drop for y'all. None of these these videos is stupid. <laughs> 
It's basically social distance part one on steroids. Big Cannon versus uh, Bankhead. Shout out to Big Cannon, man. It's been too long since we had Big Cannon back. You know, original RBE guy. Original guy that put down a lot of bricks for us. A lot of respect for Big Cannon. Um, I think he has a King video as well. And he deserves it. Um, shout out to Bankhead coming back. Back to back social distance battles. Uh, T Rex versus J400. Why not, man? All right. If maybe y'all have heard one of my recent interviews, I think I spoke about it on PSA. We know what happened with Rex on Social Distance Part 1. Um, Rex hit me up. We had a conversation, man man conversation about that. And it was Rex's idea. Rex said, Let me make that up. You know, under these terms, boom, 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 boom. I don't need to say it again. And I said it before. I think he even said it himself on 15 Minutes of Fame. And I thought the terms that he wanted to make it up was honorable. You know what I'm saying? So definitely accepted. Salute to Rex. Appreciate you for that, man. And um, we didn't just say, all right, Rex, throw us around since you want to make up for Social Distance Part 1. We still got him somebody he got history with. How many blogs or interviews or battles have these guys taken shots at each other? Rex and J400. And J400 had some of the best footage on Social Distance Part 1. Um, he was at that bank with Speed Dollar. I'll let y'all in on a little secret. J400, once again, has one of the best visuals on this card. J400 shot his footage with Twiz. <clears throat> Any of y'all Battle Rap fans know who Twiz is? Anybody out there from the culture know who Twiz is? That's who did J400's footage. All right. Uh, what the fuck else am I supposed to give y'all? I, I don't know what, what I'm missing. Uh man. Uh, shout out to Blue Cocaine. She's the only female on the card. Um, there are two other ladies that I spoke to. Um, one was kind of in a situation where she was almost off battle rap for a second. And another lady declined. Um, I don't know what it Maybe it was the opponent. Could have been the money. Could have been his timing. Could have been whatever. Everything don't always have to line up. Fuck with everybody that I spoke to about this card, though. Appreciate y'all. And we'll get back to work, hopefully, maybe on Social Distance 3. Or maybe the venues will open back up by then. Who knows? But um, Blue Cocaine wasn't the only. I don't want my ladies out there coming at me talking about, I don't know, 40 battlers and only one's a lady? Try to get three, all right? And I know still that doesn't seem like a lot. But it's a male-dominated sport. You know what I'm saying? Cut me some slack. Um, Moon. Moon's debuting versus Mr. Mills. Um, AR-16. We found AR-16 and paired him up with Craig Lamar. AR-16's footage is sick. Um, J2 versus Farrell. Farrell's somebody that's been um, at me for a long time to get on RBE. And shout out to J2. We support J2. Um, he had one of the best 1SKs we've ever done on the RBE stage versus uh, Yoshi. Shout out to Yoshi G. Um, the fuck else is on this card? Shout out to Lawrence. He put a 1SK on this card. Um, so 1SK, guys, I haven't seen that footage yet. Um, now that you guys see the fucking card, I assume that y'all are going to take full advantage of this opportunity. So I'm looking forward to seeing what y'all do. Um, I think the the one SKs is J Slash versus uh, Q Morgan, and J Slash has been on RBE before with the one SK. So Lawrence decided to bring him back, and he did. I do remember him. I think he he battled um, uh, homie with the dress. My bad. Fuck. My bad. I, I apologize for that. But um, I remember J Slash. Um. Battle but like a backwards dad hat in case y'all think I'm bullshit making this shit up. No, I remember the RBE shit, man. And he definitely did his thing. Uh, so shout out to the one SK. There's one one SK on this card. I don't know, man. What the fuck else can I talk about? I know I'm missing some matchups because I didn't just mention 21 videos to y'all. I definitely didn't. But um, Trey Vicious. Oh yeah, Floss. Thank you, man. Uh, Trey Vicious is debuting. Versus Floss the Boss. And Floss the Boss is uh, on-site battle versus KT. Just dropped this morning. Check that out if you haven't seen it. Shout out to KT. He definitely did his thing he put on. 
KT second time on RBE, his first time. He had a wild one SK with LL Cool G. Um, but Floss, this is one of Floss's best performances on RBE ever. I, I, I don't bullshit y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. I try to keep my credibility. I don't over promote. I tell y'all what I actually believe as a fan. I think this might be Floss's best performance on RBE. And he's probably got like 10 battles, 11, 12 on all. I don't know. He's got a lot of RBE battles. So check out Floss the Boss versus KT. It dropped this morning. But yeah. He's he's going up against Dre Vicious. Dre Vicious is debuting on RBE, man. Yeah, we got a couple Cali niggas on here, man. Disaster, Dre, Dre Vicious, both debuting. I like this, man. I like. Oh, you got E Ness versus Scotty. Scotty, uh, he did his thing on Social Distance Part One. He did he did a part where he tried to mimic me. He put his glasses on and a dad hat. I'm not even wearing a dad hat right now. I right, Scotty. I'm not wearing a dad hat these days. I got my RBE Flex hat on. Even though I just got the, the um, RBE dad. Matter of fact, let me get the RBE dad hat. Hold on. Yeah, I got mine. You know what I'm saying? Or do you still call it a dad hat when it's a um, strap like this? You know what I'm saying? I just got mine. The distressed. You know what I'm saying? Version. Dad hat. You know what I mean? Where it looks like it's been beat up a little bit, but you bust that down with a clean t-shirt, some nice sweatpants or some clean jeans or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 RareBreedENT.com. You get your shirts, your sweaters, uh, your joggers, your dad hats, the flex uh, hats, the one that I'm wearing right now. They're not up there right now, but if y'all want them back on the RareBreedENT site, just holler at us, DM me, tweet me, whatever. Um, but yeah, so... Got some Cali guys debuting. <sighs> I feel like I'm still missing shit. What am I missing? Am I missing anything, y'all? We said Sharon. Yeah, yeah, we said that. Am I missing it? There's 21 of these bitches on the fly and in the trail and all that. Am I missing anything, y'all? What am I missing? Shout out to all the ladies from the islands. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Uh, that was good. Yeah, OG Moon is debuting. Uh, shout out to Pat Stay, but no, Pat Stay's not on the card. Mm -hmm. Detroit. Salute Detroit. I don't know. I might have got everything. I might have got everything. So, yeah, shoot some questions now, y'all. I might have got everything. Uh, I think I got everything. But, um, there will be exclusive footage in the first release, as well as maybe all of them. We might keep in all the releases, but there's some exclusive footage that y'all haven't seen in the trailer that's not a part of the battles. That'll make more sense to y'all later. Uh, you might even see me in the intro again, you know what I'm saying? I gotta put my effort forward as well, man, you know what I'm saying? I might try to figure out if I haven't already, you know what I'm saying, something creative to do like I did last time. You know, I hopped up on that, that, that dino. If y'all old school 80s babies like me, you know what that was. You know what that was. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of them shits is like cars these days. Go go look some of them shits up on, on, on eBay. You know what I mean? I had the old school dyno, and then the other piece of it, I was in the attic. You know, doing my best to be creative. Trying my best. You know what I'm saying? Um, But y'all gonna get a bunch of exclusive footage starting tomorrow. And, um... We might release the Street Hymns battle tomorrow first, and y'all will find out who he's battling. You know what I'm saying? So, appreciate all y'all, man. Um, the, 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 the Street Hymns going to snap. Street Hymns did his thing. He is creative again like he was in the first one. He's got a great visual, and his bars is up to par, but he didn't even know who he was battling. So, that's, that's, that's a fun twist to me, that he didn't know who he was battling. Yeah, you know I mean, and I explained that whole backstory earlier in this blog, and I'm gonna put this on the channel maybe tonight. So if anybody I missed it, uh, so now the uh, oh, for what's your next big event? We already got battles booked for our next card. Um, it's looking almost like the Get Back Part Two. We might keep it in that theme, but we started booking right after the Get Back. We literally have thousands of dollars already out there in contracts that we already paid for and battles already locked in. That's why I'm glad our contracts have the clause uh, date subject to change by RBE <laughs> so that our contracts are still upheld legally <laughs> because nobody knew that this corona shit was coming. But um, 
you know, when things open up and we can make sure that people can move around safely, the team, the staff, the crew, um, like camera crew, production crew, the battlers, the fans, everybody, get on their flights, do what they got to do, meet up in whatever city we're going to do, um, whether it's New York, Jersey, because we're looking at some stuff in Jersey, we're looking at coming back to New York, um, Houston, we're looking at Florida, um, but uh, wherever we at, we already got some battles for that book, so... Hopefully we get back to that ASAP. Um, shout out to Pat. Yeah, yeah, you can. I'm ready when he's ready. Uh, Alright, yeah, I'm about to get up out of here. I'm about to. I'm gonna try to put this on the channel for anybody that might have missed anything. Um, I want to do some non-battle rap shit before I bounce. I got another uh, another joint in the mail. You know what I'm saying? I've been expanding my man cave. Yeah, you know I mean, you see. Some of these that's on the wall behind me, they wasn't there during my last live. Like, being home, I've been getting bored and just sitting on Amazon wasting money, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, that's what happens when you're bored. You end up doing shit that you don't normally do, like, drinking too much. You know what I'm saying? Fucking on Amazon buying shit that you don't need. You know what I'm saying? But, fuck it. I'll do some non-battle rap shit with y'all. Hold on. Give me a second. See, I see on YouTube, I see on YouTube people be doing unboxings and shit, right? I'm doing unboxing. This is a new joint that came in the mail. I don't know which one it is because I've ordered like four. So I really don't know which one this is. But, let me figure this out. Let's see what joint this is. I'll tell you right now, whatever it is, it's a classic. That's all I fuck with when it comes to music and movie. I got some non-classic shit. Hold on. Let me let me take that back. I got some shitty movies that I'm just like fuck it. Oh nah, this is definitely a classic. You ready? This is definitely a classic. Ah! Ah! Give me a fire emoji if this is a classic. Give me a fire emoji if this is a classic. Yeah, y'all know who the fuck knew this motherfucker was Kaiser Sose. One of the best twists in a movie ever. Put it this way. One of the best twists in a movie ever. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see that shit coming at all. You know what I mean? Like, you know, sometimes they set up little twists in movies and you be like, either this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, or that is gonna happen. This twist right here, when I saw this shit, I was like, get the fuck out of here. This motherfucker just fixed his fingers, started pointing his toes and his feet straight as shit, and then hopped up in the car with son that, man, listen, I'm gonna fuck around and watch this shit tonight now. I'll probably put this on the wall tomorrow or some shit, cause I'm home for Memorial Day, I don't got shit to do. But, um, Classic, man. Classic shit. Another classic one in the mail. You know what I mean? But, look, I appreciate everybody for rocking. Oh, that's one thing I didn't say. Judging. Judging. Let me wrap this up real quick before um, before I get out of here. I don't want no fucking confusion with the battlers or anybody like that. Um, The first card, uh, we had a GoFundMe um, with a goal of like, uh, $4,000 We didn't expect it to do too much Especially during Corona times like this But we appreciate everybody that donated Thank you everybody that supported the GoFundMe Because all that went to the battle list There was four categories for that uh, Number one was Every winner that we judged on Twitter polls Came back for the next card So we guaranteed 15 people from the last card A plate or a slot on Social Distance 2 Even that wasn't easy But we did Kept our word um, We did Best Rap had Ice won that, we did Best Performance, Had Ice won that, and we did Best Visual. Street Hymns won that. Look how, look how crazy that lines up. For the people that didn't see what I talked about for Street Hymns in the beginning of this, this video, it's going to be on the channel. I got y'all. But um, we're not going to run a GoFundMe again. You know, I feel like GoFundMe is a, is a lot. I want to do another GoFundMe you know, for all these social distance cards that we might put together. But what we are going to do is we're going to keep the three main categories, okay? We're going to do the best rap. We're going to do the best performance. You know what I'm saying? 
and we're going to do the best visual again. And the way the battle is, um, we'll win those categories uh, as far as how to get paid without a GoFundMe is whatever they got paid for their battle, we're going to cut it in half and they'll get paid that if they win a category. All right. So hypothetically, if your social distance battle, you only got paid $100 for um, and you win best performance, you'll get an extra $50. If you win all three of those categories, you'll get an extra $150. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll take it. Shit. I'll take a hundred dollars or extra hundred fifty dollars right now. I ain't too proud enough. Listen, man, I ain't a millionaire by far. You know what I mean? Money is money. So uh, that's how we're going to do it. Those three categories for the judging this time around. We're not going to judge every battle every time we drop on Twitter. You're not going to see that. Uh, but when the whole card is wrapped up, we're going to run those three categories. And we're going to close it out there. So, And once again, that's just money that comes out of RBE's pocket. No go go for me that that this time around nothing like that. That's just something that we're gonna be doing for the battle is for working with us on such a big moment for us. You know what I'm saying? It's our way, our small way of saying thank you back. It's the most we could do. You know what I'm saying? Once again, we ain't rich, and we not selling these battles. There's no VOD. There's no pay per view. There's no door tickets. There's only a little bit of YouTube money, which is percentage of a penny per ad. Go do your homework. Go do your homework on how much you can make off of like a 200,000 view video. Go do your homework. Uh, be careful when certain people act like they're worth much more than they're not or that they're not getting paid what they're worth. Be careful, y'all, because those facts are out there and it'll take somebody like me to break them down sometimes, which I know uh, a lot of people wouldn't want me to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so... You know, the judging thing like that, breaking it down like that is just a way we can give the battlers a little bit of extra money for their effort of rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? So stay safe, um, stay healthy, stay humble, stay positive, stay motivated, um, and appreciate y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Social Distance Part 2, the first battle will be premiering on the channel with some surprises, some things y'all haven't seen yet, some bonus footage and all types of shit. And then we're going to keep releasing 21 videos for y'all. RBE shit. Appreciate y'all. I'm out of here.